Welcome once again. So today, I'm going to talk about childhood abuse or childhood emotional or childhood drama. Anyhow, you want to put it, okay? So welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time I'm crossing this video. What are you doing? Come on. You can press that notification bell or you can share it or you can like it. And also, before, after watching this video from the beginning to the end, don't forget to keep your comments below for those viewers who also learn from the comment sections. So that takes us for today's topic. So today I want to really talk about children. I want to really talk about our kids, children. How do you, a lot of people may say uh, children, they don't face a lot of challenges, they don't face a lot of emotions, they don't face a lot of, uh, you know, problems in their life. Come on. But I'm here to really tell you that you are wrong. Do you know that majority, not even majority, most of the children in the world, including blacks or white, they face a lot of emotional words, abuse. They face a lot of childhood dramas. I'm going to tell you, just take two, I'm going to summarize this, and I'm going to tell you in a way that you will understand, and later you're going to agree with me. So what am I trying to say? Do you know that a lot of children, they face a lot of abuse, you know what I mean? Like childhood dramas, like emotional words, abuse, you understand? They face a lot of it. It's not only for those who are married or who are not married or like adults. No, both kids are the worst part of it. They normally face this thing to an essence that they cannot even what, express or to even explain themselves. And that is why, like adults, adults can explain itself, but for children or kids, they cannot even express themselves like an adult. You understand? So why am I doing this video? You know, I talk about marriage and relationship. I'm doing this video because I talk about marriage and relationship and it's also included. Children are also included, you understand, inside a marriage. I'm doing this video to also help people who are at them. You understand? That... Please, before you get married, if you know you have not get married, this video is still going to help you. But if you have already got married, you, ha you have your kids, this video is still going to help you. How is it going to help you? It's going to help you to you to identify as a mother, as a parent, that children also what experience child abuse, also experience child emotions. You understand? They experience all these dramas. Don't think it's only for adults. No. So I'm going to tell you, even the experience is more than we that is adult. Their own cases is even worse than we that is adult. I'm going to explain it how children experience emotional words, abuse them, experience different ways, different disappointment, different feelings, all those things. I'm going to explain them one after the other. So, number one is what I'm going to bring out the, the ways that children experience their emotional words abuse okay one parents secondly their teachers in schools or in any way thirdly the society you understand then the fourth their friends you understand and also all those things even raping are also dead they do some of these children they do experience when it comes to like rape you understand so i don't want to talk about it. i don't want to get anybody confused just stay tuned all those people i just mentioned above which is the parents the teacher the society the friends do you know that your children they experience emotional abuse from these peoples you may say how they're going to yes especially parents you understand your children suffer a lot of emotional abuse from you as parents even from teachers even from their friends how how is it going to work how is it possible first of all let's look into the into what like teacher in schools or in any organization that they are or even like they are learning anything as long as it's like teaching things or a teacher that controls that organization so do you know that most children they know they normally experience a lot of abuse inside them like emotional abuse like they can be in school the teacher will be speaking some negative art into them oh come on go away you're just nothing you don't know anything you're just dumb like your parents all those things do you know that it hurt them? It hurt them. Majority may even come home. They cannot even explain why some of them that are very sharp, you understand, that can express themselves. They normally say, oh, my teacher told me this. My teacher told me this. A lot of people, even I experienced one, you understand, in my own area, whereby the, teacher, the child was just unhappy. There are so many ways. Even, you know, some school, they give them food. They give them, like, uh, so based on the schools, you understand? I'm talking about teacher's side right now. Emotional abuse comes 
coming from what the teacher side a lot of children they are suffering from this they are suffering a lot of abuse you understand why am i doing this video after doing all after giving you all the points i want you to sit yourself i want you to be close to your children close to your kids and be there for them both emotionally or not emotionally you understand you need to be there for them you need to know how their days and everything goes in schools this is really really common in school do you know that your children suffers a lot of when it comes to emotional abuse from their teachers from their friends and so ever that is close to them some of the teachers they normally told them even you are not there they will say ah go away you don't know anything look at the assignment i give to you you fail you do this you do that all those words that hurt them it makes them not to believe on themselves it makes them not to believe as in anything that has to do with they mean they to look down on themselves you understand that they have they have no, nothing good about them a lot of things are going on in their schools even what their teacher tell them or how they teach them or how they handle them in schools you as a parent you don't know all those things you understand so a lot of those children are passing through that's why you see you see your child when he's coming from school is totally what different you understand he may be going when he may be going to school happily but when he's coming by you see his mood everything you as a parent you don't need to like you know commonize it that it's just normal or all these are not the same no you just have to like try your best to know how everything goes you know everything in schools so even there are some food your your child will say oh i don't like this food teacher i want this kind of food your teacher will the way the teacher will insult that child or talk to that child in a way their child will feel so you know emotional abuse a lot of things are really going on when it comes to schools, you know. So some of them, they will excuse them, they will come them, they will beat them, you know, because they cannot express themselves like an adult. And that is why I told you that children suffer it mostly more than what adults. So another one again, let's talk about friends. There are some friends even in that schools or in any way, whether they are playing ball, anywhere they may be, in the street, anywhere, when I, when I meet friends. They also insult them. Some of them, they also look down on them and speak some negative act into them, you understand? Why some of them, they try to like, if it is a female girl, they would like to touch her breast and love to, you know, do all kind of book shit to her, you understand? So a lot of things are really going on when it comes to child abuse, you understand, emotionally. Children are really suffer. They suffer more than adults, you understand? Because adults can take actions. But children, majority cannot express themselves. Majority cannot even talk for themselves, you understand? Even when the, some children are talking for themselves, you as a parent or you as, you know, that is governing the child, you will not even have time. So another one again, I don't want to talk much again, is it a bad word? Let's talk about parents, okay? I think we're going to, okay, let's talk about society before parents. Do you know that society, majority of the children say, the way they grow up with their background and the way the, the country is, you know, if, they, if the country is very corrupt and they believe everything is just like, uh, I have to pay, I have to do some kind of corner before I get what I want, I have to do like this before I get what I want, and that ability and that mentality is going to use to them, you understand? The society will believe, oh, if you don't work harder, if you don't pray, if you don't do this, if you don't do that, you won't get anything you want. If you don't uh, compromise with bad things, with bad friends, you know, you won't get what you want, you understand? If you don't associate with the rich people, you cannot get what you want. All those negative mentality, it do affect them. Like, I'm talking about from society, it do affect children a lot, you understand? I just summarize it because a lot of that things are there i need to talk about concerning children side, but i don't want to talk go in detail you as a parent you know what i'm talking about you that is listening to me right now you know what i'm talking about when i talk about society the teachers and all so now let's talk about the world the parents our parents own is the worst part of it children suffer a lot of things from this children suffer a lot of abuse from the world from their parents there are some parents they don't know how to talk to their children they don't know how to calm their children down because of your husband offended you or you and your husband have some misunderstanding they all the annoyance all everything you pouring it on that child oh go away that your father that is very useless that your father that is very like it's the same thing with even mothers even some fathers will say that your mother that is very useless that run and leave you that your mother was that is a prostitute that your mother you know that you that is very lazy that is, you know all those things children do listen to all those things and it, it, it discourage them that's why you see a lot of children whenever they are growing up when they see the background of their parents how they were fighting how they were quarreling up and down they will just feel like oh they do even, they do, some of them they don't want to even get married some of them they'll be scared of getting married some of them they'll be scared of getting hurt because of the past because of how their parents foundation started you understand so all those backgrounds matters a lot in the life of a child when it comes to abuse all those things children suffer it you understand you see a, 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 a husband is slapping his wife in front of the kids and the child they are scaring or you see a, a, your husband is you are fighting your wife in front of the kids you even pressing the, your wife neck you understand you are trying to keep your wife in the presence of your kids 
and you, you have you don't don't you think that when the children grow up they're going to have those uh, feelings and all those things i, I saw i was so scared i was so when, when my, my father was beating my mom i saw this it was it was scary it scared them and it created a negative art into their brains into their system into their body you understand and they begin to work adjust to this that's why you see some children any little things they raise their voice how that and they're not shouting at you but it's how they were trained it's how their background aches you understand you see some children their home training and everything is totally different you see some ch children they become a courtist even when they are not even courtist at home all those things a lot of things friends influence them society influence them even parents they even add more to all those things to do that emotional abuse so what am i doing this video for i'm doing this video for Every parents who are out there, especially mothers, I know it is not easy. Sometimes we go crazy and all those things because of what we are passing through. But try as much as possible to know how your children are doing. Try to know how your children are well being because children are suffering a lot of things. You understand? Do you know when it comes to let's talk about raping? Do you know that raping? A lot of children has been raping when they are tender age when they are not supposed to be having sex. They are being raped and those. Um, that, those drama, those emotional things that happen to them, that moment, it begins to store in their head. You as a parent, you're supposed to support them, you're supposed to like be there for them, you're supposed to encourage them. Uh, don't worry, I know it's a mistake. You don't need to judge them. You don't need to keep on putting all those negative into them. Like you are just a fool. How will you allow somebody to come and rape you? Because you are dressing, uh, you are dressing, you are naked in yourself, and that is why all those things come on. If your child is naked in and all those things is happening, you know how you're going to talk to your child in a way that you will listen to you. You understand? So let's join our hands together to make a society to a better place and also to, to help the children. The children are suffering, especially those that cannot express themselves. There are some children, they cannot talk, they don't love talking. You understand? Sometimes they'll be telling mommy, please don't go, just stay with me. Some parents, they don't even have time for their children. They don't even know how their children goes. What am I trying to say? Try much as possible to have time for your kids. Try much as possible to spend time with your kids. Try much as possible to know how your kids are doing. You understand? If anything happened to their body, if anything is going on with them, you know, let them be telling you. Let them not be telling their friends outside. That's why I see a lot of girls, that, that one that happened in my area the other day. And this girl, she's having a menstruation. She didn't even tell his parents that he's having a menstruation now. And even his parents was not even like, you know, aware of all those things. He went to tell his friends and all those things. Even through, through that process, if parents are supposed to teach her, everything, you don't need to depend on teacher or teacher in school. Every parent is supposed to teach her when you start having this kind of education, you need to be careful, you need to be this and that and that. And when the guy get pregnant and he, go, he went to go and tell his friend instead of his, his parents, when they interview the girl, you say, Why do you don't tell your parents? They say, Because my parents is always shouting at me, my parents don't have my time, my parents do this and that. So that is just the fact. Be, be, be friendly with your children, be nice to your children so that they can open up for you. If you are not nice to them, they will never open up for you. So, children are bearing a lot of things. So, join the society, let's make the world a better place for them. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Keep your comment below. Love you. Bye.